Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, Crash Bash. It's time for some more pogoing. But now with an actual gimmick instead of just being the base game with no gimmick. Encircle areas with your color to capture the center and add the squares to your score. The edges of the area arena count as squares of that color. Win by having the highest score when time runs out. Hit square the fire. It says missile, but you can also shoot the electro beam. Or electro sun beam, sorry. And the missiles are now four way missiles. Arrows now to go two directions, and the shoots are the same. Three, two, also, for the record, go. when it says that the, uh, the arena counts as squares for your color, they're liars. Because I mean, I'm getting nine. If they technically counted for my color, they would be giving me, uh, you know, more than nine. Coco, that's just rude. Same with you, Tiny. What the heck? No, I'm gonna go in your direction now. Thank you. I'll take that, that's pretty good. Oh! The corners are actually back to their default spot, that's interesting. Also, this is uh, just my plan now. I need to go in an actual full square. Thank you. Ow. Did you not get the shoes? What's wrong with you? Shoot them? Dang. Stop following me. I didn't even shoot you. What the heck, Dingo Dial? What the heck, Dingo Dial? Nope. No shoes for you. You wanna be mean to me? I'm not giving you the shoes. I'm doing this, but now with faster speed, I am actually not in the lead. They've just occasionally come over here and just bullied me enough that I'm not actually, or was not actually in the lead. Thankfully, they stopped getting points. Or er, enough points. Tiny actually won't beat me. If I didn't get that last nine, he would have been only. Jeez, uh. What would have been. Two points away? What the heck? Why are you over here? Sitting in your corner. This is rude. I'm just trying to live my peaceful life, and there's just these three hooligans. Well, there goes that square. I'm about to get, yeah. I'm about to get shocked again. I'd be like, nope, okay, he, he chose to spare me. See, so Dingo Dial, why do you keep shocking me when they're the ones that keep shooting with a missile and doing that? We're really getting the same boat here. Why not that? Uh, because now I don't have a square. That's probably why. I asked mine again. I'm about to get shocked. Nope, never mind. I'm about to get a shot. And then get shocked. I might actually hit 200. Whoa! That was a 30? Dang. That's really nice. I need to get that later. Alright, it's still a third round. I thought that was the third round. Oh! More doing this then. I wanna see what happens if I try doing this. It worked out, actually. That was rude. You know what? I'll get, I'll get the six points while I can. What the? Thank you. That wasn't even his fault, that was an error. I jumped into it, I didn't even realize that was a thing you could do. Can you go down, please? Please. Let's 
because everyone's spotting it. That has no point. He's been so preoccupied attacking me that he has zero points right now. And then gets shot. I shouldn't have done that because now I don't get the shoes, but I had to, you know? Like, I saw a target that I had to shock. They've been shocking me like this whole time. He was actually gonna try to shoot me. So I baited it and dodged it. Like a smart lad. Okus are probably about to do the same. Never mind, she chose to <laughs> she, she saw the Dingo now and she had to shoot him. Oh, there we go. 176 on the second one. Wait, isn't that exactly 100 more points than Tiny? Because didn't he have 76? Because him and Coco were both in the 70s. Wow, that's a 6 minute mini game. Oh, uh, what? Actually, you know what? That does make sense. It is predetermined time, isn't it? I mean, by being the first to decrease your score to zero in the plot of time. Three, two, one, go! Wow, my first set of squares just didn't matter. Also, I really messed that up, huh? Wait, yeah, that's gonna help. Uh, helps less when Dingo Dial does this to me. Oh my goodness, Dingo Dial is winning. He's out for blood on this one. I need to catch up big time. Oh, the shoe ran out and poofed me backwards. Yeah, I'm, I'm pulling into turret. You're not going over here. I think though, Dingo Dial just stopped getting points. He just chose to end it. That's fine, I got my 9. I fully expected him to immediately shoot me a second time. Oh, no place. Oh no, Dingo Dial is about to win. Dang. He dodged the missile and won. <laughs> he was upset that he was getting bullied. He had to go for the win this time. Do that. Thank you. That's good 19. Hi, Dingo Dao. Why are you here? For the arrow? I guess for the arrow. What the heck is that, Coco? I honestly didn't see that he was on the same line as me. Well, the only thing I have now is the arrow that I can why You know what? If I was going to be in this corner, I'm going to this corner. Forget you guys. They followed me. Tiny already won? Jeez, I guess that's what happens when you just get to be left alone. Really? Move. Your fat butt, Dingo. No wonder they made you bigger in the Crash Team Rumble game. To which I still can't believe just like how little, at least on YouTube from my experience, how little advertisement that game has. Because I found out apparently they had trading cards in McDonald's Happy Meals. And it's just like, how do you have that, yet you're gonna have like zero advertisement for the actual game? Oh my god, well, I don't get McDonald's ads because I don't watch TV, but so I don't get the ads on YouTube and whatnot. But, you think that, because I have gotten the ads before. Oh dang, Coco won. I thought everyone else was still pretty far. I'm struggling on this uh, jump more than I probably should. I actually thought I was gonna win that time. I saw that, I could have moved, I didn't. Oh, not my target, but I'll take it. That was a bad way to go about making a square. 
as I can hide him out by tiny. Why? Why do you have to do that? Why can't I have nice things, Coco? But, uh, yeah, no, it's like... In terms of, like, ads I've gotten from watching on YouTube, though, I think I've gotten a Crash Team Rumble ad twice. That's it. Just two times. Oh my goodness, she's actually just following me! She won't leave me alone! What do I do when the person's just following straight behind me perfectly on my trail? I had two points by the time I got to the corner. Leave me alone! Dingo Dial is about to win, I need to start stepping on his bots. He just needs 12 points, I need 29. I'm gonna run out of time! You fail. He finished anyways, just out uh, just, just to rub it in. Thank you. I did not expect to have problems on this minigame, at least not the gem. The crystal maybe, but not the gem. Not by any means. I'm gonna wait for the arrow. Nope, thank you, Coco. What did you get for making me lose the last one? Dang, that was a 16 pointer for him. Ooh, that's gonna be a big one. Yeah, 21 points. Nice. I should probably be using my corners for the benefit, but I just didn't, even though I was in it. Yeah, I can use it. Never mind. Failed to use it still. There we go. And they weren't even close this time. And I still didn't even use my corner for, like, majority of that. So yeah, no, that took a lot longer than it probably should have. And Crash Team Rumble is actually kind of a decent game. I played it the the demo a little bit, and I only found out that it was even a or like not demo, but like the beta, or whatever. Score the most points in one go to win. Three. That is Crystal. This is the one I expected to struggle with. It's just to try to get a good pointer for. Start of it. Dingo Dog apparently got less than me in that one. No, I knew those shoes. Ah, he's gonna get them. Never mind, he chose not to. Oh, oh. oh apparently I got 24 on that. I didn't even realize I was making a square. I was simply accident. But, um. Yeah, no, it's like I only found out about the beta because I was. Uh, stream that I saw that was up of someone playing it, and uh, normally I just like I watch that stream for like Crash Bash speedruns, and I was just kind of like, oh, didn't know this was a thing. Completely forgot this game existed because I hadn't heard of it like since it was announced. Because that was the first time I saw the ad. Third. I say that's a pretty solid score, and now I just prevent everyone else from getting a good score, and I win. See, Tiny cash out at 14? That's not good enough. Coco doesn't have enough points. Tiny's probably the one with the most right now, if not Dingo Dial, because I keep. Maybe not, because I keep stepping on his. I got apparently a 23 by just following people. Don't know how that happened. And yes, I did follow Coco out of spite at the very end. Because I realized I was, and then I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna stop. An accidental spiteful action. <laughs> Space Bash! My favorite minigame, like, the whole game, actually. I love Space Bash. If I struggle with this one, something's wrong. Send help. <laughs> that or I'm doing it on purpose. Who knows? Explosion. Our explosive crates destroy the floor. Be careful not to fall. Win by 
being the last standing or having the most health when time runs out. No more trolls, no more crates. Uh, Aku Aku is added. And the Zs are Or actually, no, we didn't have items in the other one. You know, I don't think I've ever realized the fact that there's no actual power ups in the last. or in the first pass. The Jungle Bash. Anyways, collect speedy boots, move faster, avoid the this, or you'll move in slow motion with disease. And Aku Aku gives a limited immunity. Or just the next hit. Oh, and then Echo pass on the player, just like four. Yeah. I'll tell you right now, my aim is to just destroy as much of the floor as possible. Bye! Got him. Bye! Nice Aku Aku you got, got there. Shame if, uh, it didn't matter because you got flung into a pit. Okay, you're tiny. I was about to go kick that TNT into both of us and we were both gonna die. So it's a good thing that you threw it. Or at least got rid of it. Oh wow, I actually knocked him in the pit too. This is why I love Space Bash, it's just a breakable floor. It's so good. Cause... Oops, that's not how you get the AI throws. Cause it's like... The, well, for one, the AI does not know how to handle it very well. But the other thing is that you can just kick the TNT at somebody, and if they're in the right spot on the tile, it'll blow up the tile and they'll just die. Just instantly. Two, one, go. Doesn't matter how much health they had, they have to be dead now. And I love that. The fact that you can just do that is hilarious. Or you could just kick someone into the pit like I did with Tiny. Dingo died. Because I think Dingo died. Oh no, Dingo died got hit by the TNT thing. Shut up. I want to take this Aku Aku, though I kind of expected it to hurt me. Oh, she's dead! I kind of expected her to just have more health than that. She's been having more health than that. Man, look how much faster it could be if I don't just focus on breaking the floor as much as possible. Oh, thanks, Tiny. Save me. Get off. I was trying to take them. First, I think I have thrown. It probably is possible to throw a TNT in the right spot to uh, make someone fall in a pit. But that's probably way more precise and harder to do than just uh, kicking it. Oh, I'm about to die. Okay, no, we're good. We can stand up fast enough. Hopes that he did not hit me with a kick. You're that Aku Aku. Oh, dang. I'm doing really bad at these diagonal throws. I'll take this box now. Thank you. Dang. Just gonna kick that one, break some more floor. That, break some of this floor. No. Thank you. That was close. Uh, that's on top of old Nitro still. Shut up! You're not winning. He taunted before winning. <laughs> if he didn't taunt and he just like ran to the opposite corner, I was actually about to lose. I would have been ashamed. Anyway, time for the jam. And as a lot of these gems have been, uh, you know, the norm of just beat them in the allotted time. I mean, even technically the Pogo ones are that. You just beat them in the allotted time. It's just like, a different kind of time limit. Dang, I could've actually kicked him. 
I'm just gonna pat him to die to this box. Me and Tigo Dog both are gonna pat him. Dang, Tigo Dog, you got a lot of health over there. No, you die now. I was holding up and left on the D-pad. I could not have been holding more, or both of them more. Oh, now I get the diagonal. That killed him? You win. I thought you had too much health for a normal crate. I'll take it. I didn't do it with the same amount of health I did the last round of the trophy. Nice. And now for a crystal that I actually find to be fun. And enjoyable. Win without the ability to pick up the crates. Three, two, but everything is TNT. Look at that diagonal staircase of just TNT. That was so nice looking. You can also apparently win this minigame by doing actually nothing. So I've heard. Did I kick the Z? I didn't know you could do that. Wow. Okay, I guess not all of them are TNT. Some of them are nitros. I'm not going over there, that's so... You don't know how bad I wanted to just take that right now. Hmm. Everything appears to be in the edge of the map. I have less health than her. I need to remedy that. So that way if I get into a kick war with her, like this, I can win. Nice! She hit herself with a TNT so I can win. I win! She's gonna kick her to death. Because all the TNTs were in the worst spot possible. I would have loved if they were all in the center. The game just said no having fun allowed. Go actually play the game and fight the AI. But hey, I guess that'll do it for this episode of Crash Bash. Next time we get to see what Desert Fox is. We haven't seen that kind of thing yet. See you all then. Bye bye.